Today I'd like to give you a demo of how I back my fifth wheel trailer into a 90 degree RV site. So I've got this little toy truck here, and it's a tractor trailer type truck, but it'll back with the same principles as my fifth wheel. I'll drive it past the RV site like that, and usually around 10 feet past now I'll park there, you should get out and have a look at everything. And uh, my wife, the spotter, hello, stands right back where I want to put the back corner of the rake. Also I can see her out the window, we can use our hand signals to direct each other. She'll give me the thumbs up and then I'll turn the steering wheel all the way toward, away from the campsite. Then I'll turn the wheels away from the campsite. And the truck will start to turn this way. And I'll keep turning until I get what's called the jacked position. Now in the jacked position, you can see the end of the trailer is starting to head into the campsite. At this point, I'll turn the steering wheel all the way towards the campsite, which will, which will be like backing the truck into the campsite. And then that'll, I'll start to, ch what they call, chase the trailer. As the, tr the truck comes around, the trailer will slowly move into the campsite, and I'll correct the steering. At about this point, I'm mostly into the campsite and I'll start to look at my mirrors and I can see my wife down here and she'll give me the hand signal thumbs up if I'm on a good path or she'll tell me one way or the other if I have to correct my path so at this point I can with steering correct my path um, um, and slowly straighten it out. There we go. Okay, you can see I'm backing into the site now, but I'm a little off of the kilter here. I'm headed a little too far this way. So my wife usually will be spotting me and she'll notice the back end has to come this way. And she'll point her arm this way to let me know that I have to move the trailer end towards this direction. At that point I usually put my hand at the bottom of the steering wheel and if I want the, the trailer end to move that way I'll move my hand that way or the other way move it the other way. So in this case I would just give a slight correction with the wheel this way and that would uh, cause the truck to turn slightly. doesn't take much and then I'd slowly correct it back as it straightened out right where she's standing. Backed in. Um, problems you can run into is if you pull too far ahead and you start to jack, you'll come in too early. If you, if you start your jack too late, you're not going to make it. If you remain in the jack position, this is common, a little too long, then the trailer starts heading in the wrong direction and it's almost impossible to straighten it out at this point. Your best bet would be to pull ahead and straighten it out. One tip I can give you is here I am chasing the trailer into the site. Now from my window I like to look at the wheels of my trailer because the path the wheels take are where the trailer is going to follow along. So in my mind I'll draw an imaginary path like the arc to where my wife is standing and then I have a path to try to, to line the wheels and follow them in. Another thing that can get you in trouble 
is if you come into the rig and you're in the center of the road and you're going to back in what can happen is if it's a relatively narrow road in front of the ARV site and you jack to go in you'll get the trailer jacked but then you're going to run out of room on this side when you bring the truck around and you'll be jammed up against the wall so it's best to come in right alongside I usually you know I'll, I'll have maybe a foot or two on that side then that'll give me lots of room over here when I need to jack and move the truck around an important thing to watch for when you're backing in is you're going to be looking where you're backing but every few seconds maybe glance up front you never know when someone's walking by or there's some type of obstacle obstacle you're going to be backing in but that truck's going to be coming forward so you want to be careful that you you look out the front if I'm uh, in a campground that has nice wide roads and there's a lot of room I prefer to rather than set up on the curb here I prefer to come in and set up diagonally so I'll bring the truck in and do kind of an S maneuver where I'll head towards the site come back out and drive it diagonally like that so you can see once I'm set up like that I don't have to jack the truck quite as much to get my turn and turn in so I prefer that because it's a lot easier on the trucks tires and suspension you know there's a lot less of an arc to do that than if I'm doing a complete right angle I put a lot of stress on the on the back wheels and suspension doing that some places you have to do that because you don't have the room but if you do have the room I like to set up on the angle like that so again bring the truck in towards the site as soon as you get into the site turn out and the trailer will follow you out.